What's going on guys? This week we're going to be talking about the bolt hood latch for the Jeep Wrangler. This lets you lock your hood down using the key from your car instead of having to have another set of keys, which is the main reason I bought this one. Uh, at the time of filming, it was about $45 on Amazon. And so the way you do it, you just stick your key in, you'll crank it a couple times, you'll hear a click, and then that'll be set up to your key. Then after that, it'll only turn about a quarter turn. I'd already set mine up before the video. And then it comes with everything you need to install it besides a tool for riveting. We'll talk about that later on. First thing you got to do is you got to get behind the grill. So you'll just pop all these pop tabs, which are pretty easy to get off. You just stick a screwdriver under there, pop out the first bit, either partially or all the way. It doesn't matter. I kind of overcrank some of them. They just pop them out. Once you get all the tops out, you just pull them out. And then take out the bottom part, which should just come right out without much force. Careful not to scratch your grill in a place where people will see it. Don't worry about destroying these. Um, there are more included in the kit. So once you've got those out, just pull out these, there's these tabs in the bottom. There's six of them. Give them a little pull and they'll come right out. Be careful not to pull the grill too far. There are the wires for the turn signals behind it. And those gotta stay in place. So you either take this wiring loom out or leave it in place like I did. Um, it kind of helped to hold, just hold the uh, lock in. Some people like to take it out of the way out, move it out of the way. And then you just got to go and rivet it using the riveter. Uh, you could buy this. The, my particular one was $19, I believe, when I bought it. They're pretty inexpensive. Uh, some automotive places will let you rent them. Um, it's pretty useful, though. I already owned it before this, so I didn't have to buy one, but some of you might have to. So you just got to keep that in mind. Uh, but it is worth it because the rivets will stay in place much better than any kind of bolts, and they will never come out and it feels very, very solid. Right, once you have all your rivets, you're, you're pretty much done. So first thing, you just gotta put the grill back in, making sure that you pop those tabs at the bottom in first without bending them too much. And they should snap right back into place, same way they came out. And then lastly, you just got to pop the new replacement uh, pop tabs back in. So just stick those in. Should be six of them included. And then just push down the little center bit. And then you're done. That's it. Now just lower the hood down and test this out. So one thing this will also help with is hood flutter, which is a common problem on the Jeep Wranglers, where when you get to high speeds, the hood will start to you'll look and you'll see it look like it's flapping in the wind a little bit because the it's just held down by these rubber uh, tabs on the side but this will keep it solid thanks for watching the video and subscribe for more